Hey everyone, I'm Russell. And I'm Lindy from Love Crate Celebrate. Welcome back to our channel where we share DIY and home renovation videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss future movies from Love Crate Celebrate. Today we're going to share with you our stencil wall project that we did during our kids room weekend makeover. If you didn't see the weekend renovation we did in our kids bedroom, I will link it up top for you. you missed out. It was amazing. And in that weekend renovation, we spent just one afternoon putting up stencils yep. all over the room. Custom stencils that we made, it only took a few hours. The project was really simple. We uh, cut some stencils, or Lindy cut some stencils on her Cricut, and we got some paint and we put them up on the walls. It was super affordable, super fast, only took a couple of hours to do the girls' wall and the boys' wall, and we're really happy with how it turned out. And the kids love it, which is, I mean, at the, the end of the day. Thing. Yeah. We're excited to show you this budget-friendly project. Yep. We uh, couldn't be happier with how it turned out. And we'll show you exactly how we did it. The first step was to make the stencils, which I did using my Cricut Maker. I knew that I wanted the stencils to be reusable and strong, and I had a great idea for a really affordable material to do that with. If you've ever used a Cricut machine, then you've probably used one of the Cricut cutting mats as well. What I found was that each of these cutting mats has this plasticky film above it, and that plastic film is thick and sturdy and perfect for creating stencils. This is the wall stencil design that I created in the Cricut design space, and if you want to use my design, I'll just link it in the description so that you can find it and cut out the same stencils. But if you want to make your own stencils, I'll show you how I did mine just in case. With a new project open, I just opened the images by hitting images on the left hand side and then I searched the word car. I was looking for images that didn't have a ton of detail. I wanted really simple images because I knew they would make the best stencils. When I found one that I liked, I simply inserted that image into my Cricut Design Space and then you can resize it for whatever size you feel would be appropriate for your wall and home. My deconstructed rainbows, as I've been calling them, were a little bit more complicated so I'll show you how I did those as well. I started the same way that I started with the cars, by clicking images and then searching for the word rainbow. I looked for a really crisp image that would be easy to separate, so when I found this one, I knew that that would be perfect. Right now, all of the rainbow pieces are attached, so my first step was to hit the ungroup button in the top left hand corner, and that ungrouped each of the individual rainbows from the image. And you can see how I separate them apart here. I wanted all of my rainbow pieces to have the same thickness and I could easily achieve this by using the slice function in the design space. So to do this, I deleted the largest rainbow since I didn't need it. And then I selected the next two sizes together and hit the slice button in the bottom corner. Essentially that button just slices your images anywhere that they overlap. I had to do the same thing with the next two rainbow pieces, so I lined them up as best I could visually, and then I actually used the align button. I selected both rainbow pieces, clicked align bottom and center horizontally, and that made sure that they were perfectly aligned at the bottom and in the center. And then I hit the slice button to slice the images once again. Again, you can resize your images to any size that you want. I'm going to delete the ones I just made because I already have some here and I'll show you how I aligned them to get them ready to cut. After I hit the make it button in the top right hand corner, I rearranged my pieces so that they had lots of space between each one. The biggest reason I wanted to rearrange everything and give them space is because I'm using these as stencils and I wanted there to be a lot of plastic film around each image so that they were easy to hold onto and hold nicely against the wall. When you're ready, you can cut out your design, just select plastic film as the material that you want to cut and start cutting on your Cricut machine. 
This is the Cricut Maker cutting out my stencils in real time. So it actually goes very quickly. It only took about a minute to cut the entire plastic film. If you just want a stencil to use one time, there's lots of other materials like vinyl that you can use that would be quick and easy to cut and you can just throw away after. I also tried buying some plastic film online that I tried before I tried this, but the material was much flimsier and I didn't think it would stand up as well to multiple stencils with different colors of paint. The plastic film that comes with these mats is supposed to be a protective layer. So you can see in the video that I'm holding it down on the edges a few times. That's because the plastic film is slightly larger than the mat itself. If I was gonna do this again, I probably would cut just a little bit off the edge of the film so that it wouldn't bunch up at the edges as it's trying to cut out my design. You can see that when it's done cutting all of your images out, you have beautiful stencils that now you can separate just by cutting the plastic film. Now I'll show you a couple of tips for getting those stencils up on the wall smoothly. Since we were doing a joint boy and girl bedroom, one of our walls was full of rainbows for the girls and the other wall had car stencils for our son. Before we started painting any stencils, we taped them to the wall approximately where we wanted them to go, and we used a level to make sure that they were all level on the wall. The last thing we wanted was cars going off in strange directions. We wanted them all to look straight and crisp. To apply the paint to the wall, we first poured the paint into some little paint trays that we got from our local dollar store, and then we used a sponge dabber to dab paint around the outside of the stencil. You don't want to use a lot of paint for this because you really don't want the paint to bleed underneath the lines of the stencil and you want a nice crisp line when you remove it. So first we dabbed around the outer edges and then the inside until we had nice paint coverage across the entire stencil. Usually we left our stencil there for a few minutes until everything dried just to minimize extra paint getting on anything But in this case we removed it right away just so we could show you how nice and crisp the lines were on the stencil We didn't have any special measurements as to where we were gonna put the stencils We just did what felt right to our eyes and what looked nice on the wall our sheets only cut about six stencils out with enough space to tape on the wall. So we ended up just using those same six stencils over and over again with the same paint colors. We would put them in place, make sure they were level, paint them all, let them dry for a couple minutes, and then readjust them and put them in place for the next round. When the room was finished, we were so happy with it. These photos can kind of show you how the room is separated with my son's bed on this side with his stencils and my daughter's on this side with their rainbow stencils. It only took us a couple of hours to do both stencil walls in the room and I was so happy with how crisp and clean the stencils came out. I will link to the paint colors we used in the description below. We chose to use different stencils on the walls to help define the spaces, giving the cars behind my son's bed and the rainbows behind our daughter's bed, but we still use the same green paint color in both sets of stencils to help keep the spaces cohesive. If you haven't seen the video about how we transformed this entire space in just three days, I will link it up top. Definitely check it out because there are a couple of really fun projects in that video. I hope you guys liked that tutorial. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below. And as always, hit that bell so you can be notified of more great DIY and home renovation videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. It was a simple, simple. That's a new word I've come up with. It means super and simple. <laughs> Future. You got pronunciate. Pronunciate. Yeah, that too. Both of those things. <laughs>